Former Kentucky Agriculture Commissioner and UK basketball star Richie Farmer is in a halfway house this midday. The Federal Bureau of Prisons confirmed his release from prison early this morning. Farmer was convicted for misappropriating state government resources while in office. WKYT's Mark Barber tells us what rules Farmer will now have to follow until he finishes out his sentence. That is our top story at noon. When we learned from the Federal Bureau of Prisons that Richie Farmer has been transferred to a halfway house, we started digging to see just how much freedom he will now have. The Bureau says that Farmer will be allowed to leave the halfway house on a daily basis, but only if it is approved. The Bureau tells WKYT Farmer can look for a job, attend religious services, go to doctor's appointments, and see his family. If the 46 year old has any other requests, they would also have to be approved. So if Farmer wanted to go, say, Christmas shopping for his children, the halfway house would have to sign off on it. If he does land a job, that opportunity would also need to be approved by the halfway house. It's quite a change in scenery for the former state agriculture commissioner and UK basketball star. He had been serving out his 27 month sentence for misappropriating government resources at the U.S. Penitentiary in Brewston, West Virginia. According to the Federal Bureau of Prisons, Farmer was transferred because he needs to prepare to transition from prison life to life back in the community. At the halfway house, Farmer will be under strict supervision. When he is allowed to leave the house for an event or a job, the Bureau says staff could show up to check in on him, and they could also call to check in. We're told it's possible Farmer will have to wear an ankle bracelet. His sentence ends in March. The Bureau says toward the end of his sentence, he could be placed in his home. They say house arrest, if approved, could last days or even weeks. They tell me that if he is placed back in his home under house arrest, that the same rules and supervision that applied for the halfway house would still apply in his home. In Lexington, Mark Barber, WKYT.